Joining us live is Sky News political reporter Annalise Nielsen. And Annalise, he's up and about, and obviously his wife dressed him this morning. <laughs> He's definitely wearing team colours this morning. He was out having his jog through Melbourne. We do know that Bill Shorten loves a jog, but it's a special kind of bravery to wear shorts in this weather because it is absolutely freezing. He has a bit of confidence, so a bit of bounce in his step. You can see he looks pretty happy. He didn't get up too much yesterday with the death of Bob Hawke. It really did overshadow the final day of campaigning for the Labor Party. They didn't suspend campaigning, but they very much rejigged what they were going to do. He was supposed to be in Brisbane trying to shore up some marginal seats there, but he ended up instead going to the Sydney Opera House to lay flowers at a small memorial that had started on the steps. Uh, in honour of Bob Hawke, he spoke to his widow as well, Blanche, and uh, we caught up with him as he left her house about Bob Hawke. And then the only event in the afternoon in Melbourne was at the pub with Steve Brax and Daniel Andrews. They had a Hawke's Pale Ale in honour of Bob Hawke and left it a beer. There were two other events pencilled in in the evening that hadn't been confirmed. They did decide to hold off because he was uh, more comfortable at the pub chatting to punters. He seems very confident. There's no air of any kind of anxiety around him either yesterday or this morning. We do expect he'll be going around some polls in Melbourne, especially those key marginal seats, including we're expecting Chisholm, which would be a huge coup for the Labor Party to take. So it will be an interesting day to see how the polls land. There's certainly that confidence, but, you know, it all comes down to that final count tonight.